Hey y'all, RetroMet here from IBM Engineering, and today I'm going to show you all how to create custom attributes in Doris Next. First, make sure you're logged into the project area that you want to add the custom attributes for. Then go over to the top right hand corner and click on the gear icon. In the drop down menu, click the second option that says Manage Project Properties. This will take us to the area where we can create and edit information regarding the project. Then from this menu up top, click on Artifact Attributes. Then navigate over to the green plus symbol that says New Attribute. For our example today, I'm going to relate it to the Bernadoulle puppy that I will be training soon. Uh, by the time this video comes out, you all may have some of those videos up on the channel. I will be using IBM Engineering software to show you all how you can use the software as a real world example uh, to accomplish a bunch of real world stuff. So for today's example, I'm going to put in our attribute name as command. And then I'm going to fill in the description, and this would be the command I will give the puppy. And from our data type list, if we want to do a custom data type, we can go over and we can click on new data type. But I'm just going to scroll down in this list and select the, it to be a string. Because how I plan to do this is I want to be able to teach it to like sit, lay down, stay, stuff along those lines. Finally, make sure you hit save. The next step that we need to do is we need to go over to artifact types. And what we essentially have to do is we have to add an attribute to the artifact type that we want to have it be classified as. If you don't do this step, you will not be able to use the attribute that you just create to classify your system requirements, for example, or any other artifact type that you have in the system. So I'm going to show you all two different ways. I'm going to show you all first how to add the attribute to an existing artifact type, and then I'm going to show you all how to create a new artifact type and add that attribute to it. So for our example, I'm going to go down here to system requirement and click that. And if we scroll over inside the window over on the right hand side of the screen, we can see an area where we need to add the attribute. So click on that green plus and we can scroll through this list to find our command attribute. And all we need to do is cl click off the check button then click on OK. Finally, make sure you click the big blue save button. To create a custom artifact type, all we need to do is click on the green plus symbol that says new type. Then what we can do is we can put in a name and I'm going to do this as puppy requirement. And we can leave the icon as it is, but I would like to change the icon to something. I'll just do customer requirement and click on OK right here. So now our icon change, we can put in a description if we want to. We can change the default artifact format. I'm just going to leave that as text. You can set some preferred link types and you can also select some modifiers right here. But what I'm going to do is hop over to this add attribute button and scroll down until we have the attribute of command. And I just passed it. There we go. Found it. Check that off and I'll click on OK. Finally, I will click on save. And to get back to our project dashboard, all we need to do is go up to project dashboard. And now I'm going to hop over to artifacts to show you all how to actually add what we just created. And I will click on create and we will go down to puppy requirement since we just created that as an artifact. We can put in some initial content. So I'm just going to put in sit and I will leave all this other stuff blank for just this example. And I'll click on OK in the bottom over here and finally click on done. And we will back out of this and we can see, hey, we got all this stuff right here. But where's actually the attribute at? Well, to add it, all we need to do is click on the configure page settings button and then click on more and search for command. And all I need to do is type in com and I can click on add and finally OK. Now, when I go back underneath the brand new puppy training requirement, we can see that we have our command available to us and we can edit it. So we can say the command could be sit and I can click on OK right here. Thank you all for watching. If you all have any other questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. You can find me on LinkedIn and my email address in the description below. Hope you all have a great rest of your day.